Hill Homestead down here in Alabama, northeast, northeast, east Alabama. Um, I just wanted to stop on and say, guys, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers lately, um, and some of them are making some very good points. We as homesteaders prepare for the winter. We prepare our homes to be, you know, for the, the times that are coming. Usually, it just means for the, the next season, we garden to to, um, to to put away and store for the next season. A couple of the homesteaders that I follow pretty regularly on um, YouTube here lately have been posting about being prepared for more. And um, that is something that we as a household have always done and it saved us many times where I've lost my job um, and not been able to find one for a, a certain amount of time. We've had enough food stored up um, from purchased items to stuff that we've processed ourselves. Um, I'm driving. This one there's lots of lunch. <laughs> um, the processed items, you know, things that we've bought ourselves. Um, we stored ourselves and it saved us multiple times. Um, we've been able to go months uh, with not having to go to the grocery store. Um, I lost my job in 2020 and uh, went almost an entire year before I found another position. Um, as a college graduate in this town, it was very difficult for me to find a new position, to find any position. I couldn't find a job, even a, a um, minimum wage job. No one would hire me. And it was very difficult. Now I have a, a, a good job. I make decent money for this area. Um, there are lots of other positions open now. You can pretty much start today if you wanted to. Um, so it saved us then. And since then, I've been really storing and stocking up. But as things, the cost of things have continuously risen, it's been difficult to store up those things. Um, our meat storage in our freezers has gone way down. Uh, anytime I catch stuff on sale, I grab it and I've gone to canning it, put it in jars, processing it and putting it in jars. My husband doesn't care for it that way, but you know, it's a long-term storage solution, Long, longer-term storage solution. Um, we're rebel canners at my house, so you know, as long as it looks good, smells good, tastes good, there's no discoloration, we generally go with it. Not everyone feels that way, and by all means, don't take my advice of that. Um, you do what you think is appropriate, correct? The reason I got on today is I, I needed to stop in at the local Walmart. Um, something I don't do, I try not to do very often. I had to take some items, return some items that I had purchased for someone that she ended up not needing. And um, I returned them while I was in there. I was going to grab a few things. Um, my daughter likes specific, a specific sandwich. I cannot make this garlic herb bread that they make in the bakery. If anybody has a really tried and true recipe that's super easy, please let me know. Um, but I said my gas light's on, my low fuel light. And I uh, was trying to figure out how in the heck I'm going to put gas in my car. Um, gas is $4.35 a gallon. $4.35 for regular unleaded. Um, Yesterday it was four dollars and twenty one cents. <laughs> yeah, um, I was stopped by a coworker in Walmart that had just gotten off as well, and he said, "Billy Joe, he said, how are we going to afford to drive to work?" And, I, and I, this gentleman is not. The elevator didn't go all the way up, if you know what I mean. Um, he's very blessed to have a position where he, where we work. Um, and I think he works in the maintenance department. He basically moves the trash cans around and stuff like that. He said, Billy Joe, how are we going to go back and forth to work? And I, and I just looked at him and I said, honey, I have no idea. He goes, well, people are going to have to park them and start riding mopeds. And I said, I'm not getting on a moped or a motorcycle going down the interstate. It's not happening. We live like 15 miles from work. I'm not driving that. I don't own a horse. And that's way too far to bicycle to work every morning. Um, and I said, I, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do it. And guys, my gas light's still on. I have no idea how I'm going to put gas in my car. No idea. Um, we just got a cost of living raise. We got a 5% a couple months ago, and they, they split it. They gave us 5%, and they're giving us a 3% raise. We're not getting ours until July, where people out back in the plant got their snail immediately. We are the office personnel, and the um, we're, we're not getting it right now. 
And even at an 8% cost of living raise at my pay rate, that's not going to even fill, at 435, that's not going to fill up my car one time. Not even once um, during a pay period. It's not going to happen. I drive a Nissan Sentra. Guys, I, I'm, I'm telling you now, if anybody happens to listen to my videos, watch my videos, um, please prepare yourself. I, I really don't think that things are going to get any better. I think things are going to continuously get worse. Um, I, I, don't, I, I think gas is going to continue to climb. The cost of food has risen by 40 to 50 cents. Um, for each item I've looked at in the store, um, what used to be a dollar is now almost two dollars. So there you go. Um, that's more like, that's almost 100% really. Um, I would say 50 to 75% on food cost. Easily. 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 Um, on most items. So guys, if you're not preparing yourself for hard times or for harder times, then please do so. I'm not a rabbit hole person. I'm not one of those people. Um, I just grew up in South Mississippi where we dealt with tornadoes and we would, we dealt with hurricanes. You had to prepare yourself um, for natural disasters, but I also grew up in a time where you grew everything you ate, and if you didn't grow it, you didn't get it. And I've tried to instill those thoughts and mindset into my own daughter. Um, now, I'm, that's not saying we don't go out to eat dinner, we don't get McDonald's. We still have luxury items that we do. She does pageants. That's a big luxury item. And I work very, I, will, I work a lot of extra hours um, in order for her to afford to do that kind of things. Those kind of things. I think it's important that, I think it's important that we as parents prepare our kids, but at the same time, we, we help them cope with, with what is coming. And if it means we work a little extra harder to be able to do things like that, then that's what we need to do. Mental health is a huge problem. And we've discovered that especially since the beginning of 2020 when things kind of started really super going south. Um, we've discovered that mental health is a huge problem here in the United States. And we have got to, as parents, be there for our children, our spouses, all of our loved ones, our friends, everyone. We've got to be there for each other. And like I tell my daughter, when she fusses that she has to go outside and, and we clean do something in the garden or take care of an animal, and I, and I, I gently remind her that, you know, you're, you're learning to take care of yourself. You're learning to provide for yourself. But at the same time, you're learning how to teach others how to provide for themselves. So it's important that we do it all around, um, that we cover all of our bases. We're preparing our families, we're preparing our friends and family, but we're still there at the same time. We've got to figure out how to make this work, people. And I know at our household, what we're doing is we are stockpiling our, our stuff that we're, we're growing at our house, um, buy an extra bag of flour and store it, buy an extra bag of sugar and store it. Um, we vacuum seal jars. Um, that's been the best storage solution so far for those type of items. I've tried vacuum sealing bags and mylar with O2. It just doesn't seem to last. Um, so far, so good. So far, the, the vacuum seal in the jars is dry, you know, has been the best thing for us. Um, I said if anybody's watching this I, and I hope someone gets something from this from my randomness um, but you know if you have any questions I'm always here I'm always open to answer as best I can um, and I just want you all to know that we love you and we're thankful that you're here no matter what and um, if there's ever anything that we can do or that we can assist you with ask I mean I'm not saying we can but it's not going to hurt to ask. This brain has so much knowledge, it's crazy, but there's still room for more, and there's still room for more learning, and I'm continuously learning every day. So, um, if I can do it, you can do it too. So, let's work together, let's stick together, and let's get through this. All right, thanks guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.